Smoke from forest fires drifting over communities, smog so thick it obscures city streets. It can sometimes be easy to see air pollution, but understanding the risks involves more than just looking around. Nearly 2,000 people die each year in Canada from diseases related to air pollution. So Environment Canada puts out the Air Quality Health Index. It combines information about air pollution emissions with data about local weather conditions and then puts it on a scale from 1 to 10 and beyond. Anything over 7 is considered a high health risk. Poor air quality affects everyone differently depending on their health. It can make it harder to breathe, irritate lungs and airways, and worsen chronic diseases like chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and asthma. Children, the elderly, and people with diabetes, heart, or lung disease are most at risk and are advised to stay inside on particularly bad days. The World Health Organization has a way to calculate the air quality in 3,000 cities around the world including some in Canada. You can check it out by visiting breathelife2030.org or downloading the Environment Canada AQHI app to your phone. Stephanie Skanderis, CBC News, Toronto.